Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Tiffany and in today's video, I'm going to do an April flip of my personal ring setup. So this month I'm in this cover, um, it's the VDS Elysian. It does not, I don't know how to pick up the true color on camera. It has like a pink undertone. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love this cover. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a scratchy leather, but I've noticed that over time it is softening up and I'm really enjoying like petting it. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? But it's fabulous. I really love it. And I'll be in this in May as well. Also, I will never apologize for my nails not being done, but just know that if my nails are not done, it means I'm too busy to do them. So they look like crap, but it's all good, right? <laughs> all right, so <clears throat> front pockets are like just done up with all these like clear cards. So this today card, it's supposed to be like a task card, but I, I don't do the whole like task card thing. I just wanted it in here for decoration. Um, that's from Pen, Paper, and Plans, this focus card is from Paper Planner Bliss, yeah. And then I have like this um, Coffee Planners and Self Love card from Allo's Creative Corner. This moon bookmark is also from Allo's Creative Corner. And then I also have this like freebie card from Paper Planner Bliss. So that's about as much as I'm gonna do in a pocket to decorate it up. And then here I just have, um, this is like a cloth and paper journaling card that I have like a bunch of sticky notes attached to. And I just keep that tucked in here. Um, this die cut or journaling card is from Suzy Q Plans. Has my name on it. Super cute. Um, I love that this has a fly leaf. It's awesome. And then that's an Ollie clip from Ollie Block. And then I'm going to start off by saying um, if you've seen one of my flips, you've probably seen how I use a lot of inserts just because, like, I have a system that works for me. So, um, I, I may make like decorative changes in my planner. Sometimes I'll try out like new inserts or things to like kind of help me be more organized. But for the most part, my planner system is pretty much the same. Yeah. So I think that's important to note. It just works for me. So this is an acetate from Cat Espresso Co. And I have it layered over this freebie from Sterling Inc. Um, this is all the same. This is just like a um, little, little dashboard I made that I have like a bunch of sticky notes on it. And this marks off my inbox section, which this is like this little page flag is beat up. Um, I did change. I got something on this insert, um, but I did change my uh, my inbox insert uh, to this from Latua Notes. And you can kind of use this however, like it's got this stuff at the at the top where you can mark off like if it's a today, this week, that type of thing. Um, so I have like a, a, I run like a quarterly inbox. So I'm just brain dumping stuff I, I want to get done within quarter two, basically. And um, as I get it done, I'll check it off. Um, when I have free time, like I'll probably go through and assign days um, or days to complete these tasks hopefully starting next week when school's over. Um, I'm also using it as like this brain dump for Operation Graduate is what I'm calling it. These are all the tasks I must complete um, pretty much before the end of the semester, which is Friday, April 29th. I do have a final like that weekend, um, but these are all the things I need, I really need to get done in order to graduate. Um, and I, these are, thir there's 30 millimeter rings in here and this joker is, is stuffed. It's stuffed and I do slit all my inserts. This is a task board from Latua Notes. So I just use this as needed to write some stuff I need to do. So it's like to do, to buy, memo, email, call. Um, and it just kind of helps me like, like, you know, when I bring up tasks or things I need to get done, it just helps me kind of like categorize it. So I have several of those in here. Um, I have this like memo insert from Latua Notes. I just use it for a bunch of sticky notes. So, and I've got them kind of like staggered in a way that I can just get the one that I need the most. My online order tracker from Latua Notes. I'm going to try it again. Um, I used to keep an online order tracker in my planner and then I never used it. So I was like, what's the point? But I'm currently using it. I also have this boxes of insert from Latua Notes. Um, I think it's a great way to kind of just you know, put stuff in like that I need to just get out of my brain, out of my head. So I have a couple of those. This month, if you guys saw my setup of this planner, um, I didn't like show how I set up the entire planner, but I did kind of show like my functional, in, like how I 
you know, migraine information and whatnot. Um, so I, I decided not to utilize dividers this month. Instead, I just kind of use these, um, cover pages from Hey Planner Girl to like divide out my sections. And then I just use these page flags from cloth and paper and like little icon stickers. So this is my list and notes section. Um, I just made this dashboard on Canva. I found the image on Google and then just put it on Canva. I love cherry blossoms. So the more the merrier. Um, I have sticky notes from Latua notes. This cherry blossom vellum is from pen, paper, and plans. It's absolutely beautiful. Affirmations list. So it's like a mix of like SM plans inserts, Latua notes inserts. And as I see affirmations, I just write them in and, you know, hold on to them. This is like my list section. So I would consider these to be like my long-term list. I have like kind of, um, like my planner wish list, like just random wish lists of stuff I want. And it's usually more expensive stuff. So that way, if anybody is like feeling spendy for a gift, I can be like, hey, I would love an Apple Watch. <laughs> um, I have a list of TV shows I want to watch or I have been watching podcasts that I enjoy books to read. Um, there's like a whole comment thread on one of my plan with me's. I'll try to find the video and link it where there are several book recommendations that hopefully I can get in and jot down. Um, favorite dinners. I reference that on occasion, although I haven't been cooking much lately. So, um, and, it, or if I have been cooking, it's like throw some chicken nuggets in the air fryer type situation. I have a list of Trader Joe's favorites. I haven't been to Trader Joe's since February. Um, I'm hoping I can go soon. Uh, cause there's a lot of stuff at Trader Joe's that we do like to eat. And then this is, um, and these inserts are all from Latuba Notes. I don't want to keep saying that, but this is like, um, my home list. So it's like things I need to buy for the house and then my declutter list. So yeah, I actually hold please. Um, I can actually check off the linen closet in the bathroom drawers cause I've decluttered those. Look at me go. My evening planner routine, or my evening routine, like my my weekday evening routine, I think is the important thing to say because like, in, you know, on the weekends, like I'm, I'm not doing all this stuff. Um, day trip ideas, I haven't changed that. And then I have a few extra list pages and whatnot. And then my notes section, this vellum is from Pen Paper and Plans. This is from Latua Notes, gorgeous. I have this like piece of transparency film in here that I'm just using as a place to store more sticky notes. And all of my sticky note template templates are from Latua Notes, I believe. All right, how to go in with a sip of coffee. It's been a long day. Um, so this is part of the weekly manager insert from Latua Notes. I'm using this. I think I start I talked about this in last month's flip where I'm basically using this as like the breakdown of the tasks I do on what days, like as far as cleaning around the house, I reference this pretty much daily, like when I'm planning out my day. So I just have like a page flag with a little cleaner icon on here to just note out. Cause I try to like tidy throughout the week. So that way the weekend it's not unmanageable. Like I still like kind of go in and do more deep cleaning cause I don't work on the weekends. But I like to kind of like keep the floors vacuumed and keep like areas tidy. So that way when I do go in to like deep clean it on the weekends, it's just, yeah, not too much. I use the backside to kind of map out like um, my plan for decluttering the laundry room, home repairs list. This is uh, Tamoy River paper. And I will say that like, I guess because I stuffed these rings, this bottom one is starting to gap, um, which it's not really bothering me. I don't think anything's really been catching on it. That's a chic document from Latua Notes. More sticky notes. I just have sticky notes like scattered throughout my planner, in all honesty, in case I need them. Yeah. And then I have like some notes in here. I had a call about my 1099 that I didn't get. And then it ends the chapter. And then I move into my dates. So my dates, I combined everything in my date section for this month. So monthly you know, yearly overview, daily, weekly, all of that is in this section. So I have a tab that has like a planner on it or a, what is this called? A page flag with an icon. Another gorgeous vellum from Pen, Paper, and Plans. Um, and then I currently PR for, as this the day of the release of this video, I PR for Latua Notes 
and pen, paper, and plans. So my codes will be down in the description. That's from pen, paper, and plans. This is from uh, Paper Test Designs. This is a freebie. And I decided to use my Via Creation stickers to kind of put like the overall mood of the month on here. Um, and yeah, so I do PR for Via Shop, V's Shop. Um, but I love these mood stickers. I use them in my Hobonichi a lot. This is uh, the holiday list from SM Plans. That's pretty self-explanatory. Hey, planner girl, it's my word of the year. Let's do a notes. It's just really pretty and delicate. See, not a whole lot changed, right? <laughs> um, so this is my reoccurring tasks tracker. So this is kind of, again, a, an accountability tool for me just to really know, um, like things that if they're done like quarterly, semi-annually, annually, bi-monthly, just whatever, or monthly even, this is an op, this is something that I can reference to, um, to hold myself accountable. And I did, I didn't change our toothbrushes in March, but I did like the very beginning of April. So I need to check that. But yeah, those are all of the things that I try to stay on top of. Doesn't always work. It's just nice to have it. Um, so I can reference it. My future log here, which is from Peanuts Planner Co. Just have this journaling card from Cloth and Paper. This is a vellum from the planner spot. And then my monthlies. So my monthlies are from Latua Notes. I have this bookmark from Dee's Plans, which I'm just using it as an actual bookmark. But this is my monthly for April. I love these stickers. They matched the dashboards. And then my task list, which I really haven't utilized this just because like I was utilizing the other insert to list out some stuff I wanted to get done. Here's May. I've already planned for May. I have a video coming up soon showing you guys how I did this. Um, I'm going to stick this back in so I don't misplace it. And then I just have like through, I think, August, September, I have through September in here. And then this is Paper Test Designs freebie. Um, and then here are my weeklies, guys. So I'm loving this insert at the moment. I put that sticker there because I was like all proud that I did those tasks. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this insert at the moment. I'm just kind of using it however I need to to meet my needs. This was last week. And then the current week. I got a lot of school stuff to get done this week. It's the final countdown, friends, and then you won't have to hear me talk about it <laughs> anymore. And then this is my uh, page marker. I just made this. It has like this vel or this vinyl that I cut out on my Cricut Joy. Just says today. Um, and then I just have like a bunch of sticky notes on here, planner spot, um, calendar, and then I have some little little notes so I don't forget some stuff that are that's coming up. Yeah, and then that's that. And then I have this Cat Espresso Jelly Dash um, where I threw like in some pictures of my kids and the hubby. And then I have like a bunch of stickers shoved in here as well. That's my, my freebie from Pen Paper and Plans. SM Plans and then my dailies. So I'm loving Day on T-Page at the moment just because my life is like, it feels just so chaotic and crazy and busy. Um, and so it's nice to have just space to scribble everywhere. I think I said that exact same thing last month. Um, so these dailies are from Planner Room. Some days it's pen only. I had a lot of days where it was only only pen. Um, and then there were some days that I was like, I have these Michaels like sticker books that I wanted to just add some pretty to my planner. So I was having fun with stickers, you know, like my roots, like when I first started planning, um, I was stickering. So that's kind of how I'm using those. And then I went in like mid month, went in with the SM plans down to page. And again, was having fun with like washi and stickers and all that fun stuff. So yeah, there are some days that I really crave. These are cute. These are from CZQ plans. Um, but there are some days where I just really want like stickers and then other days where it's just, I just need to get out of my head all this stuff 
<laughs> that I need to get done. Um, <laughs> that Friday was rough. I was too tired to do anything. Literally, like, came home from work and laid in bed. I did go get Starbucks that day. And then, yeah, this was cute. These I got these freebies from Pen, Paper, and Plans. Um, and I gardened on that day. Like, I, we planted our vegetable garden. So, like, I was like, oh, let's put those on there. So, I'm just having, you know, using these however I need to. And then, you know, if I want to add stickers, I do. There's no pressure either way. And then here's today. Today's the 27th. And then I have this cute little die cut from the planner spot. And then on the back, I have the sterling ink. And I've been just crossing off the days. Um, the divide, the, woo, I was trying to talk way too fast. The divider is from Calixta Creations. So I have several of these in here. And then that ends my date section. So then I have my money section, which I, I just don't feel the need to go into because it's the same. Nothing changes in my money section. Um, but I have, um, this is from, uh, who is this from? Planner Room. And then that was a card from the Planner Spot. I used it last, the last couple of months as my sticky note dashboard, but I wanted it in here. Coffee, right? So I just have, like, I have another one of these, like, Calixta Creations dividers in here. And then I just have, like, checkbook register. Um, I track certain spending categories. HSA, child care, um, and then I have like my debt trackers and that ends my money section because the bulk of my money stuff, my budget, my savings, all of that is in my um, A5 planner. Goals, so dashboard, I love this dashboard, from pen, paper, and plans, journaling card from cloth and paper. This is my goals. Um, if you guys watched my, again, VDS, Elizan setup video. You saw me kind of like map these out. Um, these are like, I guess my micro goals that are in support of my like overall like yearly goals. Um, I was seeing action steps, but they're really not action steps because they're goals. Like they're things I want to like obtain or attain, but I just like having them on sticky notes so I can keep reusing them. So, and then my monthly plan. Yeah, this is where like I kind of my focus for the month is graduating. Um, and then these are like some things I'm trying to get done, like bed by 1030. I want to take some family pics. I want to do more date nights. My, hub my husband and I have not had a date night all month. Um, I want to lose some weight. I don't know if that's going to happen. I haven't even been weighing in. So I'm like, I don't even know where I'm at. So <laughs> that's just the reality of it. I'll, I'll get my stuff together at some point. Um, and then I have like this as my check-in. This is a fold out from Peanuts Planner Co. So I didn't do it in January, but I said if I didn't continue with it, I was going to pull it out, but I've used it the last two months. So I'll continue to use it. Smart goals. This is a freebie from Bite Size Plans. And then here is my April, my April tracker. This is from Paper Test Designs. So majority of these these like tasks that I track regularly or on a daily basis, like are they correlate with what my goals are or they support my goals. Or if I'm doing these tasks regularly, um, they will help me attain my goals, which is why I track them. It just gives me an idea of where I'm at. Like my bed by like 1030, I wrote 10 PM, but 1030 it's, it's not happening, but there are other areas that I'm doing a lot. And I've had a lot of headaches. Like I've had like a headache for many days straight. It's terrible. So anyway, um, that's like for the most part, like what, why I track. And then here I have this paper test designs, um, tracker. This is where I track like my energy levels, like my overall mood for the day. Um, and I, I, I recognize that like our moods fluctuate throughout the day, but like, just kind of like when I'm looking at like themes, like overall, like for the most part, how did I feel that day? Um, you'll see a lot of stressed. You'll see that was obviously spring break. There was no stress because <laughs> uh, there was no school or work, right? Um, and then I track the number of hours I get of sleep per night. I average about six. Sometimes I dip down low. So it's, yeah, it's definitely something I can work on. This vellum is from Pen, Paper, and Plans. And then this is my, my tracker where I just track, um, 
I track my cycle. I track PTO, like how much PTO I use. I track early release, sick days, all of that stuff. My health log, which is from SM Plans. This was in last month's. I just layered it. I love, you guys love some cherry blossoms. I even have like a little clip with a cherry blossom or a sakura. Um, but that's from Pen, Paper, and Plans. That's from Suzy Q Plans. I don't know why I said it like that. Suzy Q Plans. Because <laughs> I'm a nerd. These are some die cuts that came in the uh, planner spot sub last month. Um, plannering. I just like, I like that, that word, that verbiage. And this really cool die cut. I just wanted them in here. My glow up tracker. Um, so basically I use this to like indicate when I weigh in. I put my weight in. I've actually gained two pounds the last time I weighed in. But I haven't weighed since April 10th. Um, so yeah. We'll see. And then I put dots when I um, actually work out. So that's my goal is to lose 30 pounds. <laughs> I hope it happens. You know. Um, and then my workout log, and both those inserts are from Peanuts Planner Co. So I just write the date that I work out, and then I write the activity, the duration, and then how many calories I burned. And that ends the goals, and then we'll move to content. So I put this cute little laptop sticker from uh, Caffeine and Paper Co. there. That's from Latua Notes. I like it. It's pretty. So this is where like I, I use this like it's kind of like the same premise. Um, I didn't even fill in a revenue goal for the month because I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but this is where like I kind of like focus on like um, my my content goals. So I kind of separate my content goals from other goals. Basically, I don't know why this is still in here. I should have taken it out. Um, for March, but this is like my PR tracker. This is a freebie from my minimal planner. Can you guys tell I'm tired? Like my brain is not working. Um, this is from the planner spot. And then here's another dashboard I made on Canva. Again with the cherry blossoms. I just thought it was pretty. It's really easy to like make dashboards in Canva. You just like pick your size and then you can find images and resize it to fit in there. So it's pretty fun to make. And then I have um, more sticky notes from Latua Notes, and I use these, like, to, if I want to, like, scribble stuff about content. Um, I also, like, am using the boxes of to kind of write out content ideas so they're not so messy. Like, they're kind of, ca they're not categorized, but they have, like, their own little box. So, I was mapping out some ideas for YouTube. This is my April PR tracker. It's not updated. I need to update it. Aloe's Creative Corner, and then this is from Latua Notes, and I'm using this to, like, write out all of the YouTube videos I put out. I'm just curious. It's fat. My planner is stuffed to the rim, um, so I'm glad I took dividers out because there's a lot of stuff in here, and then I have some more river paper in here, like, if I want to, like, write something out, jot down notes, or whatever, and that ends content, and then family, so I got this cute little Little family photo in here from uh, Malaya's Beauty Walk. She was a doll. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. Well, I had to, I got interrupted with a phone call. Um, but anyway, so I also have this picture of my girls. I took this when we were in Destin. I just, I loved that I captured them like jumping up in the air. That was fun. Um, and then that's a die cut from the planner spot. And then here I have um, this dashboard. I just thought it was cute because Easter's in um, in April. So that's from Pen, Paper, and Plans. It's foiled. It's adorable. And then Sophie, we went out to eat one night. And I keep pieces of scrap paper in my Hobonichi week. So that way, like, if Sophie or Malaya gets bored while we're out to eat, um, they can draw. So Sophie drew. That was my self-portrait. So... And then she drew me an elephant. Um, and I love having pictures from my girls in here. And then, I don't know. Yeah, I had Malaya's picture in here, right? Did I take it out? Oh, I took it out. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I took it out. Whoops. Um, and then this right here is 
a tracker that I keep for my girls. Um, it's a fold out. For, it's from the Peanuts Planner Co. Yearly Bundle. So I just like every month, like the colors may be a little bit different. So I just create a key um, so that I know what each thing on here signifies. So like if my kids miss school, um, if they're sick, if they have early release, whatever, I just mark it on there. Sophie drew me that. No, I put it in here. Okay. And then here's another family photo. Sophie made me this little cat and then Malaya drew me this um, bumblebee, which she did a really good job. And then health logs. And these are from SM Plans. And then that concludes. And then I have like some more over paper. I, I, I keep it scattered in my planner along with like sticky notes. So if I need to scribble, I can. And that ends... Um, my family section and then basically I just have like my confidential information clipped together in the back page lifter that's from uh pen paper planner bliss this is a foxy fix page lifter and then that's a bookmark from calixta creations another Olive's creative corner bookmark and then back here just have like my sticker book from paper planner bliss and then I have this note um, I came home from work one day um, and I just thought it was sweet. Sophie was so excited. She wrote me this sweet little note and I wanted to keep it. So I just stuck it in here. I like, I like when my kids like write me sweet little notes. I, I, I keep them. I wish I could keep everything that they give me. Um, but I can't. So, but yeah, guys, that is, um, my April setup. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will, uh, try my best to link, um, the shops that I mentioned down in the description. I cannot link each individual item. That would take me a hundred years. Um, so I'll try my best to link it. But if you, um, if there's something specific that you really liked and you're, you you want to link, just comment that down below. Um, and I'm happy to, to try to find the link and share it with you guys. If you have any questions, comment those down below. I'll answer those the best that I can. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. There's me being corny. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. And I hope you have a fabulous day.